My name is Barry Weisletter. I'm the Federal Secretary of Socialist Action, co-editor of Socialist Action Newspaper and Turn Left Magazine. Welcome to this brief introduction to our party. Presently, the working class around the world is living through a stunning health crisis that springs from the bowels of the capitalist mode of production. Toxic, high-intensity agribusiness practices put profit before public safety. A hyper-debt-laden capitalist market once again plunges the world into a great recession. Bourgeois politicians claim to care, even as they buy oil pipelines, trample indigenous people, and sell weapons of mass destruction. Inequality surges. Vile demagogues stoke fears. They intensify racism, sexism, and homophobia, promote authoritarian rule, and wage wars of imperialist plunder. Human civilization is at risk. The choice is socialism or barbarism. If we are to survive, revolutionary change is urgent, but it won't happen spontaneously. We invite you to join us in making a difference. Socialist action began 16 years ago, but our political roots are in the Russian Revolution and the early years of the Communist International before the counter-revolution of Stalinism took hold. Our name says a lot. We are socialists who engage in action. We employ working class methods of struggle, especially the United Front tactic. Permit me to summarize our program, give a few examples of what we do and introduce you to a few of our young members. First of all, we seek to abolish capitalism. We seek to build a society organized to meet human needs Capitalism and its patriarchal institutions must be abolished. Socialist action is for socialist democracy, for self-organization at all levels. Socialist society is based on collective ownership and democratic control of the means of production. Our vision of socialism has nothing in common with Stalinism, a repressive authoritarian system in which the privileged bureaucrats stole power from the workers. We believe in a multi-party socialist state which guarantees and respects democratic rights. We are for international socialism. Socialism can be created only by ending world scarcity. We must organize labor and resources and develop production on a world scale, not just within one country. For women's liberation and LGBTQI freedom, our vision of socialism is not rigid. We learn from contemporary social movements. Without the participation and leadership of, of women and other victims of oppression, there will be no socialist transformation. SA is against Canadian imperialism and for self-determination for the Quebecois and Aboriginal peoples. We believe that Canada is an imperialist state, part of the G7 club, which exploits the people of the underdeveloped nations. Canada is a colonial settler state founded on the national oppression of indigenous people and the Quebecois. We defend their right to self-determination. Our loyalty is not with our ruling class, but with workers and oppressed peoples around the world. Socialist action is for independent working class political action, for a workers' government. As socialists, we urge our class brothers and sisters to break with the capitalist parties, to fight for their own independent class interests, and to elect a workers' government. In English Canada, the New Democratic Party is the only mass party based on organized labor. It is a reformist party committed to a slightly more humane version of capitalism. We fully support struggles to win reforms, but the NDP leadership has a pro-capitalist program that goes against the genuine interests of the party's working class members and voters. Thus, the need to build a socialist left wing of the party. We support and participate in the day-to-day -day struggles of unions and all forces fighting for progressive social change. Building movements is necessary, but it's not enough. We strive to build a revolutionary mass working class party, one based on the political gains of 150 years of worker struggles. Socialist action is in political solidarity with socialists around the world. We strive for the formation of a revolutionary workers international. Socialist action is based on the democratic principle of full membership debate on program and strategy, followed by real unity in action. Members pay dues and attend meetings on a monthly basis. Here are a few examples of things that we do. The NDP Socialist Caucus, 
was founded in 1997 by SA, left social democrats, and libertarian socialists. The Socialist Caucus strives to push the NDP sharply to the left. Currently, it is campaigning for an NDP federal convention in 2020 against the decision of the party brass to cancel the convention. We fight for nationalization under workers' control of big oil and gas, the giant banks, the auto industry, and big pharma. The Workers' Action Movement. It was refounded in 2016 by Socialist Action, anarchist workers, and independent leftists. WAM fights for an end to concessions bargaining, for a general strike to dump Thug Ford. WAM ran, uh, and, and we fight for greater union democracy. I was going to say last November, WAM ran two candidates for top positions in the Ontario Federation of Labour, and they got up to 36% of the votes cast by delegates at the OFL convention. The Toronto-Venezuela Solidarity Coalition, SA and our partners in the Latino community defend the elected government of Nicolas Maduro against imperialist intervention. We say self-determination for Venezuela. The Canadian Coalition for Boycott, Divestment, Sanctions and Palestinian Self-Determination. That involves Socialist Action, Independent Jewish Voices, the Canada-Palestine Association, Religious Pacifists and Independent Leftists. SA initiated a cross-country day of action for Palestine last May. And we strive for an even bigger set of actions this coming May 16, public health permitting. There's the Canadian Network on Cuba, which it was founded many years ago. Socialist Action joined in 2018, four years after the Communist Party first blocked our membership. But the Cubans insisted that we be part of it, and we're proud to do so. Socialist Action members are members of Queer Ontario and the No Police in Pride Coalition. Toronto May Day Coalition uh, is, is another body to which we belong, and it involves CUPE Local 4400, Socialist Action, and others. And it is committed to a downtown street march with all participating groups welcome to speak. Socialist Action is by far the party most committed to advancing the United Front in theory and in practice. Why? Because, one, unity and struggle of workers' organizations and the left offers the best hope for victory, both in the short run and in the long run. And two, Socialist Action is confident in our program, in our proposals for action. Only parties that lack political self-confidence have a problem with the United Front. Parties that perform the necessary hard exertions in organizing, as opposed to indulging in sterile polemics, embrace the idea of the United Front. In short, Socialist Action is committed to the United Front approach because it is the road to the majority and we are not afraid to win. And now, I'd like you to meet some young members of Socialist Action. Uh, Drew, Daniel, Emily, and, uh, and Kurt's behind the camera. So, who's going first? Drew? Yeah. Hi, uh, my name is Drew. I'm 23. Uh, I'm a student, but I also work as a team lead as well as a resource and events assistant at my college uh, LGBTQ plus resource center. Um, I encountered social action not so long ago. I was doing some research after thinking for a while about how I would like to do more generally just to organize and be involved in education. Um, so after doing some research, I found the essay website and I was really pleased because um, the program aligned with basically all of my own beliefs and interests. Um, but I also saw it as an opportunity to learn more from others and explore those interests that I don't know a whole lot about just yet. Um, so I sent in an email and very soon after I heard from Barry. Uh, and since then, it's been just a lot of welcoming and uh, events that I've been able to participate in and like uh, International Women's Day. International Women's Day is great. And I think even a couple of years ago, I might have bought a paper from you guys uh, <laughs> as I had gone to an event uh, years before. But um, yeah, I've been really in enjoying uh, everything so far. And uh, it's it's definitely been a really encouraging experience. Uh, I can't wait to be a part of more. And now we're going to hear from Daniel. Yeah. Hi, I'm Daniel. I'm 26. I am a PhD student at Toronto in the Laboratory Medicine Pathobiology program. I came to socialism as a concept through an eco-socialism angle, 
I'm part of that generation that grew up with the idea of climate change in my head, and I refuse to see the situation at work, and politicians just continuously refusing to do anything of action. So the first mass gatherings I ever attended were climate rallies specifically focused on environmental issues. But I was surprised to see a few socialist groups at these rallies, in particular socialist action, is at one of these small rallies about a year ago where I first met members of SA who were supporting this rally as part of a united front. That's where I first would have bought the newspaper and been put on a mailing list. And I didn't think about SA for a little while. I attended other socialist gatherings and nothing quite reached out to me yet. Nothing seemed to be the grassroots experience that I wanted until I got a call again from members of SA inviting me to some of their educational events at Christie Pitts during the summer. I attended and that's where I saw a group that was organized on ideas of mass struggle, on educating the public, increasing workers' conscious, consciousness, and really raising a whole slew of issues, not just environmental issues, and showing how they're all connected. That's when I joined, and since then I've grown, grown as a leader. I've attended events ranging the whole spectrum and really learned a lot about the worker struggle around the world. And in terms of developing as an individual leader in my circles, I am now writing a policy piece for an upcoming essay convention, focusing on the nationalization of scientific publishing, which is something that was long near and dear to my heart. And now I see that my personal experiences can contribute to a broader struggle. So for any young person, regardless of what brings you to the idea of socialism, I would recommend this group for you because it is part of a large struggle and any input that you can bring would be greatly, greatly appreciated here. I think we're going to hear from Emily now. Uh, she's uh, in, uh, in Guelph, and uh, she's had a very uh, inspiring experience uh, as a teaching assistant at the university uh, at Laurier. She's going to tell us about it, I think. Yes, all right. Let's see, flip over to me. Hello. Hi, everyone. So my name is Emily. Uh, I am a master's student at Wilfrid Laurier. I'm 23 years old. And I've been with Socialist Action for uh, about a year and a half now. I first joined uh, at the November 2018 uh, Socialist Action Conference. Um, I happened to be in Toronto that weekend, and I saw some ads uh, for uh, resisting Doug Ford uh, and as someone who has been affected by Ford's policies and his cuts and just generally horrified by a lot of things he's done, I'm there. And I walked into that meeting and I was just inspired. It was a whole crowd of various ages, ethnicities, backgrounds, uh, genders, orientations, everything. Like it was a huge diverse group of people, including a huge group of diverse panelists we're all talking about the myriad of ways in which we could resist. There was um, tenant coalitions and tenant unions. There's the fight for 15 and fairness, um, union organizers and picketers, all kinds of different representation talking about here's how we resist and here's how we make sure that these policy changes don't go forward and don't affect us long term. Here's how we resist. And I was just captivated. I had been really struggling myself with this frustration with clicktivism, and I wanted to get offline and get onto the streets and actually do the work. Um, and I was lacking guidance in how to do that. And so I signed up right away. I was like, I'm in, I want to join. And it has been such an expi inspiring experience. Um, and I had just such an amazing time. Uh, and it's it's been a real blessing um, because you know I have I have socialist elders now who are who have been doing this work for so long who have been in this fight for 20, 30, 40, 50 years and know what the struggle is and know the past and know what's worked and what hasn't been can guide me through my own struggles um, and who. Oh, they have inspired me to do so much. Uh, one of the things I've been involved with this year is the campaign to unionize Laurier's TAs. We are one of the only campuses uh, or only universities in Ontario that didn't have a TA union. And we unionized this past December and we are 
engaging in the bargaining process right now, although that's been thrown for a bit of a loop. Um, but I've also gotten involved with environmental justice organizations. I've been working with Our Time for a Green New Deal, as well as the climate strike organizations. And I've been able to bring a really socialist, uh, eco-socialist, justice-informed perspective um, to that group, which sometimes struggles with leading towards capitalist reformism and resisting eco-fascism, resisting eco-capitalism, and centering socialism and environmental justice in all of my work. So, that's all for me. Thanks very much, uh, Emily, Daniel, and Drew. Um, I want to say to the folks watching this that we warmly welcome your participation. Uh, we'd like to add you to our email list. Uh, we invite you to visit our website, www.socialsaction.ca. We hope that you'll find the time to uh, pick up a copy of our newspaper, uh, read uh, Turn Left magazine, uh, we have uh, many other publications. Our latest is called Eco-Socialism versus Fossil Capitalism. We also published a booklet on the struggle of the uh, indigenous peoples of this colonial settler state fighting for their sovereignty and liberation. This is what our uh, statement of principles, the basis of uh, socialist action, its program um, uh, looks like. So we hope that you'll take the opportunity to uh, visit our website to send us an e-message and to join because you know the world's in a sorry state but we have immense hope in the possibility of the working class and humanity overcoming these circumstances and transforming the world so that there's a future uh, that that is that humanity deserves but you can't do it alone together we can accomplish just about anything thanks very much hope to hear from you soon